What's up YouTube? It's your girl and I and I'm back with another mother freaking video and in today's video as y'all can see from the title We're gonna be doing a little bit of a girls talk because I really wanted to sit down and talk with you guys And just like really express some emotions that I really don't tend to show with you guys I want to be a little bit more vulnerable a little bit more open with you guys So I figured this would be like the best time to do it So it's like a sit down relax type of video for you guys to get some motivation and some inspiration and you guys to learn a little bit more about me so without further ado let's just hop right into this video because i can't wait to talk to you guys i feel like i have so much like on my mind on my heart to tell you guys and i feel like y'all deserve to know things that are going on especially when i feel like i need to talk to you guys hi guys if you guys didn't know my name is Najee and this is my channel obviously if you guys are new welcome and if you guys are not new welcome back pretty gang either or do not forget to like comment and subscribe you know i'm really thankful i'm really to have each and every one of you guys out there and to know that you guys really like my videos and my story times and my get ready with me's and when I just talk to you guys it really makes me feel so good as a person because that's the whole reason why I really wanted to start YouTube one is to make memories and I really liked recording and editing anyway so it was like perfect little match for me but the second part was the way that I can touch you guys without physically being in front of you or being able to have a connection face to face the fact that I can touch touch you guys and I can reach you guys is amazing like I can really leave my mark on people each and every one of you guys I just appreciate and I really want to get out and talk to you guys you know and I can't and this is like the best way to even you know have a one-on-one -on -one without really being one-on-one -on -one, you know what I mean all right you guys so as most of y'all may or may not know I'm 20 years old and the things that I have learned with being 20 and turning 20 and everything that I've learned my whole entire life as a teenager has really changed a lot of things that I've seen and a lot of things that I realized in my life so this is really for the people who find yourself at a really dark spot and trying to figure out where to go from that dark spot because everything feels dark and nothing feels good Good and everything is really negative and there's not a lot of positive in your life at that time your main goal is to be happy again and to have more motivation and be inspired and you know really pick yourself up from something that you thought you could never come back from and I feel like everybody has those moments you can honestly be young or old or my age and I really had one of those moments before and I never really sat down and never really talked about it with you guys I kind of said stuff about it breezed over it as if it was nothing but really it was something because my whole mental state was not where it is now now I have a better grasp on my life and my decisions and my choices and knowing how important they are now than I did before and even though before I had an idea about it but it was like I was in such a negative state of like depression and like constant anxiety about every and anything that now when I look back at myself it was like I really felt like I couldn't go anywhere and I couldn't get anywhere and nothing was working out for me just, just nothing was going how I expected it nothing was going how I wanted it to and I felt like I couldn't do anything about it but in reality I was the one that had to do something like I had to really step up to the plate and be like look we can't keep doing this like we have to figure out how we're going to get better how we're going to keep moving on and it's just like a lot of people don't even know where to begin and I understand because I've been in that position so in the beginning I want to say this was the beginning of 2020 sort of kind of the end of 2019 your girl was really 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 depressed like I was still trying to find myself and it's like sometimes college is a good and a bad way to find yourself I kind of found the things that I did like and things that I didn't like and things that I knew I shouldn't do but I did anyway or things that I knew I shouldn't do and I did and then I knew not to do it anymore and stuff like that so it's kind of like a trial run before like real life it has always been real life but when you're a teenager you don't really consider it like real it's just like a dream like it's like this is like a part 
party it's like a fun time for everybody but it seems fun but then you're like life is starting to kick in and it's like what am I gonna do here and that's how I felt at the end of 2019 and then 2020 came and I was completely confused I dropped out of college because I felt like college wasn't for me there was something else for me because everything that I was doing when I was in school granted I loved my major but there were things that came with it was so difficult and at that time I was like I'm not even in the mental state to even keep up with anything or understand or even try to understand what I'm doing so push came to shove and I dropped out of school and then I had really started getting on to my YouTube stuff because I was like I really love YouTube and when I was in school I could never do my YouTube videos how I wanted to and I really enjoyed it and you know well that was the original thing of what I really wanted to do I really wanted to merge two things because I really love engineering don't get me wrong I love engineering I love everything about it but I really wanted to do media and I didn't know at that time what I wanted to do because you know I'm young but I was always that kid that wanted something you know I wanted something but then wanted more or I could never put my finger on what I wanted and people would call that into decisive but I thought that I could do everything granted I can do everything that I put my mind to but I thought I needed to be like everybody else and have one thing that I really wanted to do and that's kind of how I felt when I was in school I felt like I was stuck to one thing and I've never been that type of person I've always been an open-minded person I had to do something else or if I wasn't happy in one area I needed to do something else like you know what I mean and that was just for my personal like things that I enjoyed I need to do more than one thing because I enjoy more than one thing because I can't limit myself to one thing when there's so many different beautiful things that stem from who I am and that could be you too so it's just like I couldn't find a direction to go in because I was going in 50,000 different things so in the beginning of 2020 I sat down and I was like look I like these nails like I like to do nails I like to do hair I was trying to write down every single thing that I like and go from there so eventually I had an idea so I started off with YouTube then I was like I can go to school for nails and then I could go to school for video for media in the middle of 2020 because you know the whole COVID thing broke out I was really like stuck and I say stuck because it's only a temporary thing it was like I wasn't there yet it was only temporary for me to feel how I felt at that moment I felt like I needed to have money I needed a job I wanted to do this I wanted to do that and nothing was moving because I wasn't moving people don't come face to face with that nothing you want in this life is gonna happen just like that and some things do but not everything does if you really want something you're going to make it happen no matter what you're going to do and i know that might sound crazy but some cases people go the extra mile and then some to get what they need and get what they want so the middle sort of kind of towards the end of 2020 i got a job and those of y'all that know and i'll leave the video in the description on the screen whatever i had landed a job at Amazon. In some cases it was a good thing, in some cases it was a bad thing because I was making a lot of money, yes, but I was extremely tired. I stopped doing YouTube, I was getting depressed, I didn't like my shifts I was working, it was horrible. I couldn't talk to people, people were very rude, they expected me to be a robot and this, this and that and it was just a way for me to make quick money then and there. But I messed up and it's okay to admit that you messed up you made a mistake because i'm learning from it now and i'm trying to take my mistake that i did then and change it now and that's the biggest part of being mature so the mistake that i did was not saving my money everybody talks this big talk about how they're going to do this and do that and talk is cheap unless there's an action behind it so i kept telling myself you're going to save this you're going to save that and sometimes i would save my money but that was only sometimes but then when I needed it for this this and that I would use it so it was not good enough and it might have seemed great then and there when I was saving it but the act of saving it and keeping it there and not touching it was not being fulfilled you can't half-ass something and expect greatness from it when you half-ass it or for better words you don't tell the whole truth there's still lies within your truth it's still considered a lie with partial truth it's it's one of those things where it's like you can't expect that much from something that you really didn't give anything good to in which I learned a lot about that and that comes with maturing because you could tell somebody that and people won't listen to it so it's like 
you'll see yourself but i had ended up so depressed working at amazon and thinking that materialistic things were going to get me out of something that i just kept pushing myself deeper and deeper into i even had a therapist i stopped talking to people everything was going to shit and i'm sorry to say that but that's what it was and i'm not gonna hold back on any of this this is real life this is realistic this is the things that i went through i'm not gonna get too deep into detail of everything that i went through but this is just so y'all can know and understand and relate to because i know i'm not the only one and i know i'm not the first or the last person this has ever happened to but i got so bad to the point that i was beginning to become very closed-minded and when i say closed-minded i wasn't looking at myself how i used to i wasn't being as optimistic as positive as i used to be i was putting myself deeper and deeper and deeper down to the point i was really closing myself off and and no one was getting in friends family relationship anything it was just horrible to the point that i thought i didn't even want to be here anymore and that's how real that this gets i'm not going to go too deep but that's real you know how people say there's light on the other side of the tunnel i felt out that light was gone there was nothing for me to look forward to i was at an end and i was calling it quits and that's when it's like <sighs> what am i gonna do because it felt like it was just me that's because i made it just me but in the way that i heal i've always been alone that's kind of a taught behavior for me it, it got so rough as a kid to the point where my grandparents would have to argue and scream with me for me to get my emotions out and talk about things so once i knew that i was reverting to that cold hearted, not wanting to be around people, isolation that I was putting myself in. That's how I knew that there was something that I needed to do to change this, cause this is not me. When I have people telling me, this is not you, this is not you, what's going on? And I'm not explaining anything. I'm not telling them that I'm having these suicidal thoughts, that I'm having these breakdowns at work, that I don't wanna be here and I can't do this and I feel so stuck and everything's heavy and hard and I can't do it. That that's when there need to be a change. So one night I had explained everything that was going on. I talked to my mom about it and she was telling me that my life is worth way more to her than any job, any amount of money, anything. And when I tell you that is just the something that I needed, because who knows how long that I was still going to feel this way. How did I know that I was not going to act on something? As much as it scared me, I would have this idea that I didn't want to be here and it was fine it was okay that everybody would be all right if i wasn't here and when she said that it felt like somebody had seen me and when you're going from feeling like nobody sees you it's just you now you have somebody physically saying i'm still here i see you you're going to get through this it was very promising to me from that day i quit my job at amazon never showed up again didn't want to show up ever again my family was starting to see more of me again where they could talk to me yeah i would still be a little upset i would cry about things but it was more that they had seen in the last few months almost a year so that whole time i was at amazon i was slowly losing myself again and in the beginning of the year, I was losing myself because it all started from the ending semester at ODU. It was like that whole 2020 was like the year for me to learn and discover. Now we are here. I know that might sound crazy, but I'm here now. A lot of this was a lot of prayer. Now we're at the point of the conversation where I want to talk about the months that I had without a job because that's just our timeline here. So it was November, so I had went without a job from November to January and the first week of February. At this time, I was really debating because I didn't want to leave my job because I knew I needed the money, but now it was what was better. Living depressed, upset, and in shambles every single day with money or relearning myself, gaining my happiness without it because i put so much on money that it was like i'm supposed to be happy again with it but i would really be upset that was a tough decision for me 
because that put me behind the eight ball. I was stuck with bills that I couldn't pay. Y'all, please don't do that. Don't end up where I had to end up. I mean, yes, it was a life lesson and I know now, but it was one of the best decisions that I could possibly have made for myself in that time. I can't speak for everybody, but sometimes you gotta make decisions that you don't really wanna make, but you know that that might be the best thing for you. So for two and a half months, I didn't have a job. It was hard. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It was hard. I didn't have gas money. I couldn't really go everywhere that I wanted to go. I was so used to being dependent on me that I wasn't trying to ask for money. My birthday had just came. I had had a little bit of birthday money from my family and I held on to that for as long as I could. And even with that, it wasn't enough to do much. I appreciated it, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't enough for gas every day so I get where I need to go money to pay bills which I had a phone bill I had my bank card that I was paying for credit and stuff like that I had just got a new Apple watch all this stuff that was going on to bills and this and this and that and everything that I had going on that wasn't enough I started relying on my parents again and you know I had just turned 20 and I was like this is not how I'm supposed to be living you know this is not at all how I'm supposed to be living I'm not supposed to be living off my parents you know it was just like this is not what I want at all this is not what I want so one night I had kept looking for jobs and everybody around me was working or had found a job and it was so simple but nothing was going for me like it was for everybody else and this is the part where it's like what am I doing wrong why can't I do this is there something wrong with me you know you really start to question everybody and everything god why is this happening why is this happening to me i sat there and really had to reevaluate what i was doing and what i wanted for my life if i'm telling myself this is not what i want at all when i turn 20 i want to have this this and that i want to be established i want to move out i want da 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 and i'm not there granted a whole year did push us back so this whole time that i didn't have a job i wasn't doing what i wanted to do i tried picking up my youtube channel and it was not going anywhere I told myself that he just sit down and cut the tears cut the bullshit cut all of it because sitting around and being upset and crying all day is not doing nothing for you it's not and sometimes you really have to come face to face with your problems and that's what a lot of people don't do either you have to face what is bothering you everything that is pushing you down you have to face it all that very day you guys I faced everything that I was complaining about. Why don't you have a job? Why aren't you moving out? Why is this? Why is that? You don't have money. You can't go anywhere. Let's start from here. So I really had to sit down, face it, figure out what was going on. Why I didn't do this? Why I didn't have this? Come face to face with my problem. Face it. Don't blame anybody else. Don't keep blaming the pandemic. Because there are people out here that have it way worse than I do. And some of them are doing something about it. Some people are out here taking the most negative situations and making it as positive as it can be. And you'll never know that those people are having it worse than you do. Very eye-opening. Stop pitting yourself. We get it. You're sad. You're upset. Nothing's going how you want it to be. I understand. You know, I'm going through it. So, of course, I understand. So, it's like, now, where do we go from here then? And that was that point where I figured it out. I didn't figure it out completely, but I figured out what I wanted. A lot of people, like I said, don't face their problems. And then a lot of people don't know their priorities. Write down the things that you need to do. Everybody should have a to-do list or a priorities list and write down what you need from the thing that you want the most so bad to the least that's what the whole to-do list is for you don't start a task that isn't important if you don't have a screwdriver for your screw to tighten up something what's the first thing that you're going to do get a screwdriver you know and then you're going to tighten it up and then now you have a fixed whatever now you can use it but that's what needs to be done and that's what i sat down and i did i wrote down my priorities my first thing was getting a job the best thing that you can do right now in your situation is find a job wrote that down next thing after that 
I want to get a car. Wrote that down. So every single thing that I wanted from this lifetime in that moment that I felt as though I needed so much, I wrote it down. And the next step that I took that a lot of people forget about, everybody talks about this manifestation stuff, right? And they're not wrong, but as a person, you don't manifest anything because you're not higher than who created you. So I sat down, prayed about it. I wrote it all down, put everything that I was upset about, everything that I wanted, every and anything that I felt as though I needed, I wrote it down and I prayed on it. I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And God answered my prayers, okay? God seen how hard I was working. Faith without works is dead. That that scripture you can't expect nothing when you don't put no effort into it and even if you do put effort into it and it doesn't work out how you want it to something is wrong with how you're doing it or you're not putting enough of yourself into it or you're only doing it like I said half ass you're not doing it all the way or you don't believe that it's gonna happen you have to trust and believe that God is gonna have your back and that's where people start to forget you have to build a relationship with God in order to know we all have faith and that's also scripture we all have the faith of a mustard seed or if you google it right now it is so tiny it's the tiniest amount but if you know how to use it and work it right you can get whatever you desire because you believe and you trust that God has your back. That faith that you have is being used and it's a shame that people don't use their faith and expect something without one, using your faith, two, without putting any effort into it, and three, without trusting in God, which is ties into number one. Basically, all in all that I'm saying, it all starts with one person and that one person is you and that second person is God. When you and God come together like this, nobody can stop you. Cause once God sees that effort that you're putting in, he gonna look and be like, wow, they really want this. And God makes anything move. Any challenge that might seem too big, it's not. Cause God said you can do anything through Christ, anything. You could take David and Goliath, y'all. And if y'all don't know, David and Goliath is a story in the Bible where he had to battle a giant, somebody that was way Way bigger than him way stronger than him and he's this little puny little guy and he defeated that giant that giant is your problem that problem may look so big so scary large you can't get around it there's no way to fix it you can't do nothing with it but God said you can do everything through him as long as you believe that he can he Will. And I can't stress that enough. There's a song by Meek Mill. It's called Wins and Losses. And in the beginning of the song, it has a preacher saying, you have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to be possessed with the dream. You have to feel it when it isn't tangible. You have to see it when nobody else around you sees it. Cause if you don't, what are you doing? I was talking to my grandmother yesterday and she was saying, what if you would have gave up in the beginning? And don't get me wrong, I'm still a small YouTuber and I appreciate every single last one of my beautiful, pretty gang. But if I would have gave up the times when people said, I don't even know why you have a YouTube. There's nobody watches it. Or taking people's negative attitudes towards me. Having something to say about what I do, who I am, how I do things. You know, if I would have let all of that stay in my head and we continue to think about it, I would not be where I am today at all. And that goes with a lot of different things. Everybody had something to say about me being skinny, being bi, liking girls, liking boys, whatever it was, whatever I did. People are going to say what they want about you, whether they like you or not. It's not up to you to continue to let it bother you to the point where it stops you from doing anything because they're going to talk about you regardless. So you need to get what you got to do done. Keep hustling. He Keep grinding. Keep doing what you got to do. Have it in your head that you are going to be who you want to be and you're going to be your best version of yourself because you're not going to let everybody get to you. You're not because you can't. Whoever you are, whatever you look like, whatever you you identify as whatever you like 
don't like you cannot let these people small-minded people people who don't have any say on your life try to control you because then you won't get to where you want to be you have to wake up with this this mindset that you're gonna get what you gotta get done because it needs to be done and you're the only person that's gonna do it i constantly get reminders of that every single day my life that i want only happens with me if i don't put in the work to get it done how is it going to happen if i sit here on my ass every single day and do nothing to get nowhere where am i going to be you can't expect it if you're not doing anything i'm sorry it just doesn't work that way some people don't understand that but that's what it is and that's the truth if you're the type of person that can't accept the truth i'm sorry but that's what this whole video is i don't know you guys i just really been learning myself learning about this lifetime learning about everything because i want to know and i need to know in order to get somewhere i don't know I just really want you guys to understand where I'm coming from because there's so many life lessons in this whole conversation that I'm having with you guys and those who need this or they can understand it or relate to it or they want something from life more than just the minimum, my words will speak volume to you. And you will understand where I'm coming from. And you'll have a grasp better than those who don't really want anything from this lifetime. Or want something without working for it. Or they want something but they haven't seen what they have to do to get there. Because anything is possible. Anything that comes to your mind. It can be done. And I mean this in the most positive ways. I don't mean negative things, you know. You want to become a CEO. You want to have your own business. You want to graduate high school. You want to graduate college with honors. You want to become an astronaut. All these things that you want from life can happen as long as you're willing to work for it. People forget that life is not meant to be easy. You're going to go through things regardless. Even if you feel as though you have everything set, I still go through things, you know? And I feel as though I'm in a better, way better position than before, but I know that this is not where I'm finished at. I'm not done here. It only starts here. You have to have that mentality that you're either going to get with it or you're gonna get out is one of the two things you can be saying that you hustling and nothing's coming from that hustle and i feel like people also get that confused too hustling is not none of that stealing cheating lying hustling ain't that that's not a true hustle a hustle is when you waking up in the morning knowing that you have a plan you have a idea you have a goal that you want to reach and you are willing to get up every day at seven in the morning to work towards that goal you know what i mean you really doing the damn thing because you really want that something so bad to the point everybody can see how hard you're going they may not know why you're going as hard but you know why and they'll see why because you're putting in that work to get there don't forget that god will always have your back if nobody else has your back know that god has your back it don't matter who you are, what you look like, what you identify as, what you like, what you don't like. Don't let people put you in a box because you are limitless. You can break barriers. You can move mountains. You can be who you want to be because that's how God made you. God created you that way. And you also need to remember and don't forget that you have the faith. You put in the work. It can be done okay all right and that is the end of my ted talk <laughs> no for real though guys like i just really wanted to tell you guys that because i have a platform and it's growing and not only did i want you guys to know more about me and who i am and where i come from and you know everybody on youtube may think that they're so perfect and their life is so great you guys don't see everything that i go through because i may not post it all but i did want y'all to know that about me because i feel like some of the things that i go through could help somebody else you guys might be feeling the same way somebody might be out there 
not being able to understand what's going on have somebody to talk to but at least they clicked on my video that one time they see my video they clicked on it and they heard me talk and it was like they could understand where i was coming from and they could get some type of clarity from what i'm saying so if i could help anybody and this touched anybody's heart moved them inspired them to get up and do what they gotta do then i feel like i have done my job and i have done something a lot of people can't say that they've done in order to help more people you go through things not just for yourself but sometimes for other people with that all being said pretty gang i love you guys so much please let me know in the comments if i helped somebody or you guys can relate to it anything i really love and appreciate each and every one of y'all as if y'all were my family please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to stay healthy and stay positive all right you guys <laughs> i'm out <laughs>